Hello, 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 and welcome again to another Schoolology tutorial. And this time we're going to talk about quizzes and we're going to play around a little bit and see what is possible and kind of give you a couple of hacks. So this video might not be as quick, but it will be as purposeful. So I'm going to go back to courses and I'm going to pick a course section one. And we're going to go ahead and start building what a quiz, what a summative exam could or should look like. And I'm going to kind of try to put, I think, almost every single content in mind. Well, the key thing is, is that you're going to add an exam. So I'm going to go ahead and do sample exam for practice. And I'm going to put a due date of, in this case today, if you're looking down, it's the 17th. I'm just going to put it down for the 21st and do by 11.59 p.m. for 100 points. And this is a summative exam. So I'm not setting it as a midterm or final um, the scale is numeric. Um, your options, you can always individually assign. So if you have SPED or modified test, um, publish to students immediately, grade statistics disabled or comments are enabled. So right now I'm publishing all of that, but I'm going to show you and kind of play around with what it can look like. So you can do simple, we're gonna do a very simple add question. You have your true, false, multiple choice, ordering, short answer, essay, fill in the blank, matching. Um, you can also come in from question banks or import your own test quiz and do all this. For right now, let's just do a simple true, false. So for this simple true false, I'm going to say um, that this is basically, are you happy? That's a bad one. Are you excited right now? But I'm showing you why I could do this because I can insert content in that goes with it. So I can go to attach a file and let's say if I had a picture or anything else like that, I'm, which I'm going to picture. So when I said, am I excited right now? I'm looking at a picture um, for this and I can put that picture in to help um, understand are, I'll say, are they excited right now? You could put true, false or anything else like that. Um, going here real quick, this is settings. So per question or quiz, um, you have your submissions, it's disabled, time limit. Are you putting a time limit, yes or no? Um, attempt limit, only one attempt, randomized order, yes or no, meaning do you want questions all to pop up the same? Paging using page breaks or one question per page, I definitely want one paid question per page. Um, that's important in a computerized setting because um, it kind of keeps kids on flow. Language, keyboard, none, question, review, resumable, meaning can they pause it and go off somewhere and come back? I do not want something resumable. Can they view their submissions before they submit um, all of these things? So um, this kind of gives you uh, and submissions enable until from such and such so they can only submit from certain time to certain time. I'm only going to let them submit. I forgot when I put this. So I'm going to put it on the 19th to 3 p.m. to the 20th, 3 p.m. So they can only submit during um, that period. So that's the settings, and that's really important to kind of set up and decide how you want. Once we get into a little bit more, you're going to be able to preview the test, but I'm going to go back to questions. And like I said, I did not save that question, so I'm going to do it one quick time. Is the cat happy? And I'm putting the picture back in, same picture, just so we can play around and see what it looks like. Um, attach the file. You can put video in here. You can do anything that you want to in here. I'm going to start kind of playing with some hacks. You could align, and we always need to align the objective. Is it a time question? Is it a subjective question? And then you create the question. So that's a basic, just basic creation. And that's how 
we kind of put that in. I wanted to show what you can do if you play around. I'm going to go with some multiple choice um, here. And once again, you have your text, you have all of your tools, you have your bullets, you have all of the formatting that you need to have, and then you have some additional help with table, spell check, your paragraphs to make it look a certain type of way. Um, one thing I wanted to talk about is um, the ability, and I'm trying to find it here, when you're formatting, you're scrubbed through, the, but the ability, especially with math, that in some cases you kind of have math evalu um, problems or certain problems that look a certain way, you can't just naturally type them in. So one of the quick hacks that I really think we should use, if I can pull it up real quick, please tell me I have my documents ready, um, is the power to um, screenshot. So I'm pulling up a reflection rotations question, and let's say I wanted to use some stuff off of this as a quiz. And while it's taking its beautiful sweet time reading, I need you to read faster, baby because this is kind of embarrassing. Let's try it again. Um, don't forget the ability to uh, do a screenshot. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead, I wanna take number three, because it says, which of the transformations? I can't create that, but I know that I can turn around and um, create that question here. I was trying to see if there's another one because I don't want to do too much cutting and pasting. But this question here. And so I am going to come down here and do a screenshot. And ah, I shouldn't have done that one. I apologize. I'm just going to go to new. And I am going to actually cut exactly what I need. You could put the question in if you choose to. Um, in order for the way of things, I want things to look. I don't always do that. I'm going to save it as because I'm not sure at all times do I have my copy paste available. So I'm going to save it as capture um, 1000 because I have a lot of things saved on here. And then I'm going back to create. And then I'm going to say, please look at the following diagram which is not a diagram and then I'm going to have it insert content I'm inserting media I'm attaching the file and I'm going to capture 1000 and then I'm going to sit here and put transformation and then I can put in it's here and then I could put in my question. I don't know if it's gonna let me copy and paste the question real quick. Where was it? Where's my question? I lost that page. Here it is. And sometimes in a PDF, it'll let you, yes, it's letting me copy and paste. So I'm just gonna copy that real quick. See if it formats over. And then you can put your choices in. And I didn't want to do so. I'm just going to put choice one, A, B, um, but with choice is as well. And I wanted you to see this. You can also, with choices, put in script and bullets or underline. You can also put in your pictures, which is your media, insert content. So you can do a lot more with your picture choices here. So I wanted you to see that as well. I'm going to put that this one's the correct answer here. I'm just going to put KS. This is a practice. Remember that we're not doing this for real, but I am trying to show you the power of doing all these things. And you can once again go timed question, partial question, grading, learning objectives, and I'm going to go ahead and create question. Okay. So I'm creating that question choice, and I'm going to go to preview. So in preview, it's letting you see exactly what the students would see. Start new attempt. And you see question one of two, page one of two. And then it's like, OK, um, I can just put any kind of answer. Next page. 
and it's telling you right now you will not be able to change your answer, then I can look and see, please look at this following transformation, which is when do the board. I know that me looking at this, I probably would have bolded those questions to let it stand out a little bit more. So you can go back and you can edit, and that's where you go back. Hmm, let me go down here, because we don't want to do anything that's incorrect. Submit. And, um get out of this mode here and going back to questions please let it save let it save let it save and it's saved so that's just a small way I don't want to get into a lot where you can really play and I think you need to spend a lot of time playing around with the quizzes to see exactly what you can do but this is just really a starting point or base to help you understand what's possible so thank you once again for spending some time with me miss jesse um learning and breaking down schoolology um let's keep it up